Starting off this hour is Leslie in Chattanooga. Hi, Leslie. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. What's up? Um, a little backstory. Um, my spouse has um, some addiction issues, and after getting him into a rehab facility where he is now, I am trying to clean up a financial mess that was made. And he had taken out several, um, I guess, online payday loans, mm -hmm. and some of them look to be charging $60 a month to borrow, and there are some that are charging $350 mm -hmm. a month in just in fees. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm not sure how to go about starting to pay these off or the legality of some of these that are charging, you know, ridiculous interest rates. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm afraid they're probably in a state where it is legal to do that. That's my okay. guess anyway. Um, and, and what is your household income? Um, it's about 60. Okay. And how much in loans are these payday loans are out? Um, let's see. About, I'm going to say about $3,000. Okay. And um, what other debts do you guys have? Um, student loans. How much? Um, oh, gosh, probably about 50000 mm -hmm. Is that on hardship deferral, or have you been paying that? No, they're on hardship deferral. Okay. And um, how much do you pay on your cars? Um, we don't. Our cars are paid for. That's good. How much is your house payment? Our house payment's about $1,100 a month. Okay. What other debts do you have? Um, we have one credit card. What's the balance? Paying, oh, I think the balance is about $4,000, and okay. that's it. All right, that's good news. All right, do you have another car credit card that's open? No. Okay. All right. Um, well, th th there's two ways to deal with the payday loans. Obviously, if you've got some that are three fifty versus sixty, you got to treat the whole thing like it's on fire, and you got to get them out of your life as soon as possible because they're going to get worse very fast. Any of them are. But if you've got some that are three fifty instead of sixty, I I would go after those and get them out of the way. The other possibility is um you know that, that that if you can't pay them at all that they just go bad and then you settle with them for close to the original amount plus some fees but not you know the things start out a 350 fifty dollar bill and then they add 350 a month to it which some of them do i mean it's Why? just it's obs obscene and um then you go back and settle, you know, for the original 350 plus some fees, but certainly not their full boat. Um, and you might call them and just negotiate with them and set that in place now and say, all right, I can pay you by this date, but th but we need to settle the amount. We need to set the amount. Okay. And, and just lock it in so that it's not just continuing to crank. And then just lay right. that out and say, okay, I'm going to do $2,000 this month, $2,000 next month, and these things are going to be out of our lives. And that means beans and rice, rice and beans. But, hey, the family's in a crisis, and so we're going to crank it down and clean this mess up. Okay. What is the nature of his addiction? What, what was he addicted to? Um, gambling. Okay. All right. And he was using payday lending to do it? Yes. And his income? Just, just to keep his head above water. And his income? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What what was he making before going into rehab? Um, our it was, our income was the same. It was sixty. Okay, so he's he, able to take some time off from work and and get paid. Yes. So he's on vac paid vacation or so such and such. Okay, good. Well, yes. that's a good employer. Somebody's taking care of him one way or another. There, that's yes. that's pretty impressive. We're very grateful for that. Yeah. Amen. Is this the first time it's gotten this bad? Yes. Okay. And it's kind of one of those looking back, you know, money's always been a source of contention, and it's just, you know, looking back now, I could see it coming, but we choose not to see things sometimes, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now I'm trying to clean it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Well, how long y'all been married? Uh, 20 years. Okay, good. Well, it sounds like things are going the right direction in a really bad situation. That It's turning around, and he's he's admitted what's going on you're real clear about what's going on you're taking the steps to turn this thing around because i'll tell you that gambling is the second fastest growing addiction in north america of all the p all the addicts that with money problems and they all have money problems that come into our mm -hmm. office for coaching gambling is the second fastest growing it's just it's it's all over the place it's bad and petty yeah. lenders are the 
that, that just scratches the surface of how bad this stuff gets. So if you need some more help with this, Leslie, while you're fighting this by yourself, you just let us know and we'll help you, okay? Give me a yell back if you need something.